Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. It is Tuesday afternoon and we got a few things that we're going to go over today. First off, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, which I hope you did watch, I said that I got two boxes of these from Matt over at Part-Time Pickers. He had a massive purchase of comic books, so he sold them off in bulk lots. And I think there's 50 comic books in each of these. I'm thinking it's 50. So I bought two of them and we're going to go over those. We're going to kind of go through these, be it, do a mystery reveal and see what we get. Maybe there's some junk in here. Maybe there's some good comics. Either way, I sell comic books in my antique booth. So most of them I put in there anywhere between like a dollar and two dollars a piece. I paid a little bit over $35 per box. That's with shipping and tax and everything included in there. So my total is like $71 and I got two of these big boxes. So like I said, I basically put comic books in there at a dollar to two dollars and I don't put junky titles in there, stuff that most people haven't heard of. If it's obscure titles from non-Marvel and DC, I generally don't put those in my booth just because they don't sell. And I'll try to keep main stuff in there, the main Marvel DC characters and superheroes. So we'll go through here. I hope I find some good stuff. Maybe there'll be any, something worth listing separately on eBay. I think the person he bought them from said that they were worth between like a dollar to ten dollars the stuff that he was getting so maybe i have a gem in here i don't know but let's uh we'll go over that and then i'm gonna go over sales real quickly they're all right here six items on ebay not a whole lot to go over so let's slide over and get started all right i came out to do this in the other room i here didn't have quite enough room on my desk to get everything set up uh they've got a little glare over here from the outside but here we'll Let's see, can I scoot that over a little bit? Yeah, it makes it a little bit better. I'm going to try not to rock the table too much because uh, that's part of the problem, but I already opened one of these boxes. I got it here. I'm just going to set the stack of comics out and then we'll go through them. Now, I did get one of my stickers from Matt at Part-Time Picker, so thanks very much, Matt, for throwing a sticker in there. All right, let's back this up a little bit. I think this is going to work out just about right. Actually, let me see if I can get something to prop this up just a little bit and it'll be even better. Okay, I think this will do perfect. I can go through these one at a time. Hopefully they won't slide or do anything. But yeah, we got 50 of these, so I'm gonna go through them kind of quickly and let something really catches my eye. Like I said, most of these I'll put in my antique booth for like a dollar or two, just depending on the title. I will look a few up in case something looks very interesting or unique that I think could be worth a little bit more. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So we obviously got a couple of these death heads too. We have issues number one and two. No, oh, actually we got duplicates of number one. This is guest starring the X-Men, so that's good. Scarlet, or I assume that's the Scarlet Witch. Incredible Hulk with Nick Fury. Ultimate X-Men. More Ultimate X-Men. X-Men always sell, so that's good. Got a long run of them. Let's see, what is this? War of the Realms with the Avengers. More of those. Who's this? Domino. Number three. And number four. And number five. We'll keep going with Domino. If I had one or two, I'd have most of the set. There's number seven. Number's down there this time. Who's this? This is a special, uh, oh, Domino number nine, but it has, Stan Lee must have passed away right when this was issued, so they put that out there. Again, stuff like this I'll look up, make sure that that's not worth anything because it has that on there. Now, I didn't mention before, but what I do like about these is all of these are bagged and boarded, which makes it nice and easy for me for my antique booth. I can just print out my little sticker that I put on the back of these, have no additional cost into the bags and boards. So, because that's part of the reason why I went ahead and bought these. So, all right, we got Hot Domino with Hot Shots. It's got somebody's uh, inventory tag on there, mycomicshop.com. Runaways. Green Lantern, Royals from Marvel, Red Skull. So far we've done had a lot of Marvel. There's an older The Defenders, 25 cent comic. Crisis on Infinite Earths. Alpha Flight, first dynamic double size issue. So that's something that I will check out. It had a price tag on it, not sure what it's worth, but I will set that one to the side. Catwoman. Looks like we're getting to some DC comics now. More Catwoman. 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 Batman and Robin. Batman and Robin. Catwoman. Oop, our first one that fell. Legion of Superheroes with Supergirl. An upside down comic. Incredible Hulk. So we're back to some Marvels. 
Got Mutant X Annual. Another Mutant X Annual. Man Thing. So this is A Force 9 from the Civil War II uh, series. Secret Night Warriors. More Avengers. More Ultimate X Men. The Ravagers. Amanda Waller from Suicide Squad. Batgirl. Guy Gardner. Never heard of him, but he's fighting Green Lantern. And another one. X Factor. Oh, we're backed upside down ones. All right, so we got Spider Man Unlimited number one. So, fabulous first issue. Again, another one I will check it out. We'll throw the comps up on the screen. Then we got Moon Knight number one. Fist of oh, Khonshu. Check that one out. Throw comps on the screen. New Warriors number three annual. And the last one from here is Savage Submariner no more. All right, let's open that second box. All right, I got this next box open. And as you can see, I have a big stack right here that are bagged. Some of them actually aren't even bagged, uh, but not boarded. So yeah, we'll flip them up and look here. I'm going to have to scoot it back just a little bit. So we got Daredevil. More Daredevil. 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 Incredible Hulk. Incredible Hulk. Now here's an older one, a 75 cent comic, Incredible Hulk, when Zax attacks, number 327. Bunch of Incredible Hulks. Here's another older 75 cent one. Thor Annual, number 12. Avengers, West Coast, not those annoying East Coast Avengers. Thor, Thor, that was a 65 cent comic. More Thor comics. So yeah, I'm just trying to flip through these kind of quickly if they're just more of the same type. You can kind of quickly see what the title is. There's another little bit older one, another uh, 65 center, number 363. You can see they originally had a 225 price tag on it. So lots of Thor in this one, but again, that's good. Those would be great in my booth at a buck and a half. Duplicate on that one. This is like the Thor box. But it's got like a pretty good run. It's just Thor. Thor. Well, we're getting a little bit older. We're getting up back to a 50 cent comic, number 312. The Terrible Threat of Tyr, or Tyre, the God of War. All right, these ones are upside down. All right, now we're getting to some, first of all, I'll call some bad titles. X-Man, not, not a good seller. Those probably won't even make it to my booth. Secret Wars, that's good. More Secret Wars. Avengers Spotlight. And a couple more door, Daredevils. All right, we're to the last stack. Let's check it out. We got Aquaman. Dead Man. Now, these are Vertigo, so we're out of DC and Marvels. Or at least just that one was. Free Comic Book Day. Now, again, these I'll throw in my booth for like a dollar. Again, they're free on Comic Book Day to uh, customers that go into the stores, but... Because it's Spider-Man, it should still sell. Oh, there's a cool one. Superman Returns to Action Comics number 643, and that's from 1989. So again, I'll just throw comps on the screen. That'll give me one to look up for this batch. And another one. We've got an old Captain America number 299, 60 center. Cool villains and stuff all around him. Classic X-Men number 10. More of these West Coast Avengers. Punisher War Journal. Scales and Scoundrels. Never heard of that one. Maxwell's Demons. Cream. Hero Cats of Stellar City. Look at all the cats. All right. If you've ever heard of Hero Cats of Stellar City, you put it down in the comments because I've never heard of this one. And is this the last one? Ooh, Twisted Romance. Yeah, that's definitely not going to make it into my booth. 
All right, so that's what we got. Those are the comic books. If you like these, uh, put it down in the comments. Let me know if there's one of these titles that you really like or that you read as a kid, put it down there. All right, let's slide over, go through sales, and uh, continue on with the video. All right, I guess I really didn't say it as I was finishing up those comic books, but I am really happy overall with the quality of what was in there. Lots of major titles, big name characters, and all of that. It wasn't loaded up with junk like you think that most uh, lots are like that. This Alpha Flight turned out to be pretty good, so I'm really happy with the comic books. Thanks a lot, Matt. All right, like I said, we had six sales on eBay and they were all between like 20 and $30. Nothing really cheap, nothing really expensive. Uh, this is the cheapest one of all of them. What did this sell for? Actually, no, it wasn't the cheapest. Uh, this was right, right what everything's going for. This is Killer Croc. This is a really cool 12 inch figure. Got movable legs and arms. Uh, no accessories or anything like that, but uh, this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And they picked it up for just a couple bucks at a thrift store. All right, here's the cheapest item that I sold. This Pluto. What is it? Pluto's Mad Dogs jersey. And this is going GSP, so I'm just going to ship it to Kentucky. They'll ship it overseas. $12.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a club. Yeah, a Bike Club Ultra. So yeah, that's exactly what it is. Remember, we used to put these on our cars for a while, a long time ago. Keep people from stealing them, supposedly. But these are actually really good bike locks. So found one of these at a thrift store for a few bucks, and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a Lego set, another item that I found at a thrift store. This one was noob open box, so the packages inside were still sealed, but the box had been opened. So just took pictures of everything, disclosed how it was, and this sold for $19.99 plus shipping. In this tube here, I have a movie poster you'll see in the pop-up over here. No, this side. And this is a Fast and Furious movie poster featuring Paul Walker, great image of him. And this is a two-sided poster, so it's the kind that they used at the movie theater inside like their light boxes. Picked up a bunch of these a while back. Have been really slow sellers. It's on an offer for $22 with free shipping, and they accepted. And the last item I sold is this book set. Now, these are Charlie Brown books, so these are vintage books. Oh, it's not going to focus. Focus there. But they're two-sided books. So these are pretty cool. Two-sided books made by Mattel or distributed by Mattel. Must have been some special cross promotion they did at like a grocery store or a mail away type item uh, there's two four six eight books and i think there was like nine or ten in the complete set i picked these up for a buck and a half a piece at a thrift store and they sold for 29.99 with free shipping not a real big money maker but i just couldn't pass them up these are cool charlie brown books so really not too bad of a day of sales six items 180 some dollars with the shipping and tax all included in there and it's all pretty easy shipping items now, even when I'm not doing a big thrift haul, I like to show one uh, one or two items at the end of my video that I did pick up either that day or, or in the previous days. This I did just pick up this morning. This is an Oregon Scientific, and it's an indoor-outdoor wireless thermometer. See if I can get it to focus on here. Yeah, you can see the gist of it. There it goes. Picked this up for, it was marked $9.49. I scanned it in the store, and I'll throw the comps up from Amazon. A lot of these wireless thermometers bring some really good money. I've sold several of them over the years that have been a hundred dollars plus and it looks like this is going to be another one of them all right that's it for today thanks everybody for watching thanks for hitting the thumbs up and and that subscribe button if you haven't done it already so uh if you want to leave me some comments down below i always appreciate those too thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next time